What is going on, you all? Welcome to Delivery Driven. It is 1.20. My shift will be over in 40 minutes. But I've taken three deliveries and two of them stiffed me. Fuck you. And one of them gave me a $10 tip. So I got something. And like I said before, the past, I don't know, I guess this is seven or eight Tuesdays in a row. Deliveries have sucked. But today we got some. Uh, Jesus, fuck. But today we got some news. The uh, local college, the University of Louisville, has been <laughs> in some kind of a uh, robbery for their basketball team. This comes just after the NCAA just did a investigation on them for prostitutes. They've had a bunch of other scandals. The list is really long. It's just like, what the fuck, seriously? I mean, it's it's pretty big. There's four other colleges involved, and the global director of basketball, whatever, for Adidas. So, I mean, this is pretty fucking huge. And if the University of Louisville's involved, I mean, <laughs> they are fucked. They are so fucked. And being a University of Kentucky fan it makes me happy. <laughs> Even though I live in Louisville. The University of Louisville has been such a fucking embarrassment to the city and to the fucking state. With Patino and all his fucking scandals, Petrino and his fucking scandals, he left and then they, they brought him back. And then you got the fucking, uh, the president, he had fucking scandals. You had the board of trustees that had fucking scandals. I mean, where does it end? Where does it end? Now, they're <laughs> in fucking bribery. You know, it's like... What the fuck? When are they just going to fire fucking everybody and replace them? When? That's the only thing that's going to fix this. It has to be done. It has to. But, you know, I don't give a fuck makes me happy now I've got even more ammo to talk trash to the U of L fans you know when the University of Kentucky hired coach Calipari it was like we got all kinds of shit because of the scandals he was involved in you know but and it's been proven even the NCAA proved and said that he knew nothing about these scandals but obviously he'll be penalized because he's the head coach. And he took it like a man and said, okay. And he fucking left the school and went somewhere else. And then we hired him. Well, all the fucking U of L fans were talking about how we're gonna have to vacate our fucking championships and you know, it's gonna be one scandal after the next. The University of Kentucky hasn't had any scandals and the University of Louisville had to vacate their fucking championship. Their 2013 championship. So it's just like, come on. It's funny though. Now they didn't actually say the University of Louisville was... <laughs> they just said a, uh, a public research school in the state of Kentucky with, um, with incoming enrollment at around 22,000. And the University of Louisville has a deal with Adidas, and so it's got to be them. But during the press conference on the local channel at the bottom, it said University of Louisville impl implicated. Now, there's no official word that the University of Louisville is in the report or they're being investigated. But we all speculate it's Louisville just because of all the other fucking scandals they've been involved in. This is the decade of scandals for the University of Louisville. And somehow fucking Rick Pitino has slid his way through them all. Don't know how. He needs to be fucking fired. I don't think they can uh, say we didn't know this time around. 
I think they're gonna be fucked. So I'm on my fourth delivery. I don't know what it is about today, but last time these fuckers didn't tip me, so I'm probably not gonna get a tip this time. So that means four deliveries and only one of them has tipped. Jesus fuck, what a shit ass day. Fucking crackhead. Just standing on the side of the road, just like, can't stand still, just swerving. But yeah, I'm gonna go back and look at the history uh, on my Tuesday shifts, and if they suck as bad as I can remember they suck, then I'm just gonna give the shift up and uh, run Postmates. When I get off work today, I was planning on doing some Postmates, but I think I'm going to go downtown and fly the drone around a little bit. We need to get some B-roll. I don't know, I really need to wash my fucking car too. It is very gross, very disgusting. Normally I'll clean it every Friday, but I didn't do it last Friday. So delivery number four tipped me one whole fucking dollar. One dollar. And I have made $24 with my tips and commission, $36 with my hourly pay, um, that's 60 bucks divided by four. Oh, that's fucking $15 an hour. I mean, really? What a shit fucking day. When I get home, I'm going to look at my past Tuesdays and see what I've made. Because if I do Postmates on Tuesday, I mean, I, I'm guaranteed to make 100 bucks in four hours. I'm just wasting my time and not making any money. So last week I was uh, real congested, you know, allergies and sinuses and shit. The GM suggested that I use Flonase because her sister's like a, I don't know, what do you call those doctors that deal with allergies? Anyway, she said that Flonase is really good and she suggested that I use it. So I've been using it and it's been working out pretty good. So today I was like, hey, I've been using Flonase. It's been working out really well. She was like, oh yeah? I was like, yeah, but there's this weird fucking side effect, man. I was like, it's so fucking weird. And she was like, what's that? It was like, it seems like the University of Louisville is always caught up in another scandal every time I use this. <laughs> she graduated from U of L, so she didn't find it very funny. <laughs> Oh, but I did. And you guys probably won't. You don't understand. But it's fucking hilarious. Uh, it's 159. Uh, my shift is fucking over. So you go cash out, clock out, and... Get the fuck out of there. Why would you exit from there if you're just gonna turn? Why wouldn't you just exit from over here? And then he turns back in. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think that guy has a fucking clue where he's going. I don't know, when I drove a semi, it fucking sucked. I was always getting lost and it was, it was before the days of reliable GPS. There wasn't, there was no such thing as Google Maps. We had a MapQuest, which fucking sucked. But today, man, nobody should get lost. Nobody. My one and only fucking trip to Manhattan in a semi-truck was the worst fucking experience ever. And after that day, I told my dispatch, I'll never go to Manhattan ever, ever again. I was like, I don't care if you penalize me for it, I will not go to Manhattan. It fucking sucked. Number one, the address was wrong. Well, the address was right, but the address is down an alley in the back of like a city block. There's like a, a 
a warehouse company that is in the middle of a city block and the address was completely fucked. I had to back my semi down this alley which was, I mean, a New York City block is fucking huge. I mean, we're talking probably 50 yards. Straight down this alley, serpentine, because you got dumpsters and shit on both sides. And then when I get to the end, it does a 90 degree turn. And so, and they're used to this shit, but me, no. So they had to hook up a tow truck to the back end of the, the trailer and pull it to do the 90 degree turn. And then on top of it, once I got the, the truck down the alley and backed up to the dock, it was five o'clock. Well, five o'clock, everybody gets off work. Nobody would fucking unload my truck, nobody. I was pissed. I even offered this guy 40 bucks cash if he just offloaded my truck. Nope, wouldn't do it. So I had to spend the fucking night in this fucking alley in my truck because I don't know where the fuck I am. There's no gas stations anywhere. I can't, you know, just disconnect and leave my trailer there. I mean, I guess I could, but I'm in the middle of fucking Manhattan. What am I supposed to do? Where do I go? Luckily, my refrigerator had food in it and, you know, I had some sort of entertainment. So I just fucking slept in my truck all right, back at the store. Mass is going to clock out.